So let's uh, talk about Tata Tech now. The company reported a weak set of numbers for the first quarter. It was a miss in revenue growth and EBITDA margins contracted by 20 basis points. To talk more about this, we have with us Warren Kevin Harris, MD and CEO of the company. Mr. Harris, thanks for joining in. Revenue was down about 2.5%. Services revenue has declined 1% quarter on quarter. Can you explain what's behind this weakness? Uh, our business is, uh, is, uh, is divided into uh, tech solutions and, uh, and services. Uh, tech solutions includes our education business and, uh, and our products business. Uh, our products business is essentially focused upon reselling software for third party PLM organizations. And there's a seasonality to that business. Typically, we do about 40% of the business in the first half of the year and 60% in the second half of the year when big maintenance contracts are uh, are renewed. And we've seen that trend over the last uh, 20 years. So we anticipated the uh, the degrowth in uh, in tech solutions in the first uh, quarter and uh, and budgeted and uh, and targeted that as uh, as part of our operating plan for this year. You know, services was impacted by the completion of the runoff at uh, at Winfast. Uh, we had a couple of projects that uh, that phased uh, in terms of um, the uh, the timing, and uh, and so there was a slower ramp up on a couple of projects, but um, but those projects have now kicked off, and we uh, we're fully confident in uh, in our prospects for uh, for sequential quarter on quarter growth for the rest of this year. All right, uh, no, a point taken. What was the uh, services growth X of the Winfast runoff? Uh, the services growth uh, X of, uh, of Winfast was uh, was almost two percent. If you look at uh, at X of Winfast um, year on year, it was over twenty six percent. So the uh, the momentum of the business uh, outside of uh, of the uh, the decline that we've seen at Winfast continues to be very healthy, and uh, and it's inspiring the confidence that we have for the full fiscal year. All right, uh, you're guiding for quarter and quarter growth though from year on. What can the extent of that be? Yeah, our, our confidence is uh, is really inspired by the various customer categories that uh, that we manage our business around. You know the anchor accounts, uh, Tata Motors and JLR, continue to uh, to present um, significant demand that uh, that we are supporting them on. The success of both of those organisations is uh, is informing a uh, an uptick in uh, in capex. We're very much a part of that. If you look at aerospace, we uh, we have uh, began the ramp up and the discharge of the uh, the order book that we've established at um, at Airbus. And one of the things that we were able to celebrate in the first quarter was the uh, the securing of a uh, a large deal in the uh, in the business class and uh, and first class seating uh, arena, and so we're going to establish an offshore development center for a European tier one uh, organization. So aerospace continues to uh, to kind of build for us, and as I referenced before, we're not seeing any slowdown in demand across. The uh, the automotive, aerospace, and industrial heavy machinery sector. So our confidence in the future, and our, our confidence for this fiscal year is really inspired by all three um, industry sectors and the various categories of customers that we manage our business around. All right, Warren. But do you think that FY twenty five can be better than FY twenty four revenue growth of that ten and a half percent off? Well, we don't provide specific guidance, but um, you know we continue to be cautiously optimistic in uh, in terms of uh, our growth prospects, and uh, we are working hard to uh, to satisfy the uh, the requirements of our customers and to identify new needs, and uh, and that will uh, will provide the uh, the stimulus for the uh, for the growth that we are committed to continue to provide. Okay, uh, uh, for a Winfast in particular, Mr. Harris, will it contribute to growth in this current year? Winfast will contribute to our uh, to our uh, revenues, uh, but we do not anticipate any growth in uh, in the next couple of quarters, at least. You know, as with most uh, new energy vehicle companies, uh, once they've developed a portfolio of a uh, product, they shift their focus to building and selling that product. And I think that's where um, 
that's where WinFast are at in terms of their maturity cycle. And so we uh, we think that uh, that demand for them is uh, is going to have to be confirmed before they uh, they extend their current portfolio. Well, in your previous interaction, you had guided for margins to improve, but margins actually have come off by around 20 basis points in this quarter to around 18.2 percent. What's the margin outlook from year on? Winfast will contribute to our to our uh, revenues, uh, but we do not anticipate any growth in uh, in the next couple of quarters at least. You know, as with most uh, new energy vehicle companies, uh, once they've developed a portfolio of uh, a product, they shift their focus to building and selling that product. And I think that's where um, that's where Winfast are at in terms of their maturity cycle. And so we uh, we think that uh, that demand for them is uh, is going to have to be confirmed before they uh, they extend their current portfolio. Finally, sir, what about the uh, order book and the pipeline going ahead? Is there any concern about EV growth slowing down? Yeah, it's certainly uh, we've certainly built on uh, on the order book and uh, and pipeline continues to be uh, strong. You know, there are um, some specific customer issues that uh, that are grappling with the tapering of demand on the EV side of things. But if we look at the uh, the macro uh, situation and we look at the overall sector, the uh, the transition in uh, in not just automotive but aerospace and industrial heavy machinery in and around the uh, the move to alternative propulsion systems, the investments that our customers are making in software defined vehicles, the uh, the move to uh, to shared and autonomous, that uh, those are the tailwinds that we're intersecting with, and we continue to believe that that will provide us with sufficient opportunity to continue to uh, to grow and expand our business. Well, thanks a lot for joining in, sir. We look forward to having a chat with you in the next uh, quarter as well, or maybe in the interim. Wishing you a good day ahead as well.